Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no wool video. Usually I make my videos in the morning or sometimes early in the afternoon. Anyway, when there's a sunlight, but uh, I've got something really exciting to share with you and something really important. Important for people that decided consciously to put effort in their nutrition and change their lifestyle fix the health without medication and doing so well and getting deceived by enterprises around them. Um, early on I created video about snacking and I'll put video uh, just above the link to that video if you didn't see it. But uh, someone who I respect a lot uh, shared with me that they're changing the ways they eat their food and um, show me snack that they bought earlier, which they say, look, we're not really snacking, but when we're on the road, we don't have time for lunch or even dinner. We eat it as a snack instead of the meal, which is an amazing idea. Um, and I said, well, would you mind showing me uh, your snack? And I said, yeah. And they shared a snack with me, and that's their snack. Um, it bounds keto low carb. Um, Bounce, I think it's a company, and Kitten and Low Carb. There's a lot of statements on that box which are amazing. And I was so proud until I started reading the ingredients. And to be honest with you, it's one of the best snacks I found on the shelf. So what I would like you to describe, um, what I would like to describe here for you, it's what to look for, what is real um, trap, in those so-called health snacks. By the way, if you can not snack at all, that would be the biggest advantage you can create and your metabolic flexibility. But if you are, as a person decided to snack instead of meal and you have to snack, um, a low carb snack, it's uh, one of the best bets you can get. But let's see what is sneaky in that packaging and what to look for and see uh, what you're looking into snacks. So, first of all, uh, the way that commercial packaging is going, they put in a big print what they would like you to know, and in a small print what they don't want you to know, but they have to disclose it, right? So, as I read on top, Kita Low Carb. Kita is a trendy name, uh, and please do not bite it. Um, I, I do practice ketogenic diet myself, but not diet, I'm more like lifestyle and I'm not really adhering to keto. I just believe every single lifestyle has good things to offer. Keto for ketones, um, animal based or meat based diet for uh, vitamins and minerals, uh, plant based diet for remedies and not as a food. And as a part of ketogenic diet, I'm always looking for interesting ways to, you know, spice my um, food intake with something new. So keto, keto means nothing because keto could be clean, keto could be dirty, and dirty keto is worse than any other diet or food restriction. If you would like me to create a separate video about keto, please let me know in the comments down below. But again, reiterating, keto means nothing. It means low carbohydrate or Atkins diet. Then we've got salted caramel. That's the first, you know, ringing bell. But before we see ingredients, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, salted could be good if uh, right salt is used. Caramel is basically burnt sugar which is not good and that we need to look deeper whether it's a flavor or real caramel and say 100% natural guys means nothing absolutely nothing 85 calories it's another piece of empty information i always say avocado is around 400 calories donut around 150 calories which one do you think more nutritious avocado or donut which one you think, after eating 400 calories or 150, will get you more fat? Of course, donut. There's a zero nutrition. Body just will store everything that you ingest into an avocado, getting broken down in minerals, nutrients, uh, vitamins, and other, you know, 
it, it, most of the avocado would be utilized for useful things in the body. So calories means literally nothing. But 85 calories, I guess, if you, I don't know, if you're in a calorie restrictive diet, which I again disagree with, uh, it's a good thing, but uh, to reiterate, 100% natural means nothing, keto means nothing, 85 calories means very little. 2.1 gram net carbs. That is a good start, right? What is net carb? You've got total amount of carbohydrates in the food, and then you take the total amount and subtract amount of fiber. Fiber is carbohydrate, and fiber not getting digested by, by your gut. That means it's uh, fiber in, fiber out, and when I say 2.1 gram net carbs, that means the total amount of carb is one number, but actual carbohydrates that you will digest is 2.1 gram. It's great, but not that great. Look, in a, a true ketogenic diet, you got between 5 to, to 20 grams of carbohydrate a day. If you ate 2 grams of carbs as a snack, it's a wasted um, time. 5.5 grams of fat. That means nothing unless you know what kind of fat you ingesting and that prompted me to look at the list of ingredients right so let's uh, turn around and see what they put in so just remember when the list of ingredients is from biggest to smallest as the first one is the biggest ingredient in a snack so let's say organic coconut great it's amazing start Coconut, it's uh, mostly saturated fat and saturated fat is what you need for your nervous system, for your good digestion because uh, it's getting broken down in the gut, uh, by gut bacteria to short chain uh, fatty acids. It's great. S then, Australian almond, 18%. Be very careful about almonds. Almonds, if they're not activated, if they're not sprouted, they got a lot of phytonutrients. What that means, when you drink almond milk or eat almonds the way they are, they will chelate minerals that is already in your body. And if you consume an almond separately and snack with almonds and drink almond milk, you may end up without nutrients in your body if you had them in the first place. And if you didn't, that means you have no nutrients. That's really... Um, based on very expensive snack and this is very expensive snack on almonds uh it's a shame they could be on macadamia on brazil nuts that are full of selenium on hazelnuts even on pecans amazing nuts you know to choose from basing expensive snack on almonds not a good idea soluble tapioca fiber mm. Look, it's a filler. It's a it's a it's a fiber, uh, and and I guess it's important to have a fiber in as part of ketogenic diet. You don't have to, but if you begin, it will help you to um, you know to deal with uh, stool better. But um, I guess they use it as a thickener as well. Pea protein blend, great. But I'm a bit worried about what blend, what they blend with in, because they don't have to disclose it. So blend, maybe they blend with something that, you know, not so good. But I'm glad that they're using pea protein and not whey protein, because whey, whey protein would be inflammatory. And then you've got rice flour. Wow, that's a really bad choice. Because rice flour, it's that fast acting or, or low glycemic carbohydrate that will spike your insulin. So what's the point of keto snack if you're using rice flour? They could use, um, I don't know, um, cauliflower flour or something like that. that something that is really good. So that's the first ingredient that to me is not keto and it's a really bad idea on top of almonds. And then one of the worst one Sunflower lecithin. So sunflower is sunflower oil. <sighs> it's a big subject. So there are healthy oils and there are unhealthy oils. That's what I was talking about when I say fat. Anything to do with seed oils, the latest research show 
that insulin resistant, resistance mostly created by seed oil in our food and not so much from refined carbohydrates but in as a together as a combination as a disaster and this is why i'm looking at quite expensive snack and i see a rice flour and sunflower oil or sunflower and the base is a nut almond i start questioning how come that is classed as a healthy keto snack and the price they put in, I, I can tell you right now, there's three ingredients that would change and it would be one of the best snacks on the show. Instead of um, almonds, they could use macadamia, pe pecans or hazelnuts. Instead of uh, pea protein blend, they could use pea protein concentrate, sorry, isolate uh, or concentrate. And then... Um, Instead of rice flour, they could use cauliflower flour. Instead of uh, 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 sunflower oil, they could use any other oil. They already use coconut. They could use coconut oil. They could use macadamia oil, macadamia nut oil. They could use literally any oil. So those corners that they cut in the snack make, in my books, unhealthy. You don't need snack in the first place. But yes, it is low carb, but low carb doesn't mean snack that will help you with your health goals. So be careful with something like that. I always encourage you to take picture of ingredients, come home and study them and see if our uh, ingredients that you see, they are good ingredients and whether you should buy a snack like that. Because it's not always when you spend big, money hard-earned money resulting in a good quality snack so sorry for the big rant um, if you are interested in more information about snack feel free to post your snacks down below um, and i try to review them or ingredients that you worry about or just ask any questions down below if you like this video or any other videos on my channels please um, hit thumbs up, it will help me to promote my videos and help other people. Um, if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe um, and hit the notif notification bell. Uh, every time I put video, post video, it will notify you and then you will have a choice whether you would like to watch it or not. For now, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.